In this video, I want to talk about VPSs, or Virtual Private Servers, for trading the financial markets. More specifically, I'm going to explain what a VPS is, how to access the VPS, the benefits of using a VPS, and lastly, I'm going to recommend a VPS provider which I've been using for my own financial trading. But before we get into the specifics of a VPS, let me just quickly explain what a VPS is and let you decide whether or not you think you might need to use a VPS too. If you've been following videos on my channel for a while, you'll know that I'm an algorithmic trader. Now, that doesn't have to be as complicated as it sounds. Simply put, I use a set of rules which get me in and out of trades, usually based on price and time. The rules for the strategies can often be quite simple, and you can actually look for the rules manually, looking at charts, and then place the trades manually. Or you can automate the process, which is how I do it, by programming those rules into some trading software. I use MultiCharts, which is a trading software, so I program the rules for the strategies, and then MultiCharts looks for the trades, and then automatically places the trades at my broker. And this is where using a VPS to run multi-charts or your trading software on can be very beneficial. So what exactly is a VPS? Well, simply put, it's a cloud-based computer. Companies like Amazon and Fast Forex VPS, who I'm currently using for a VPS, have masses of computers stored in rooms or warehouses in which people like you and I can have remote access to. Accessing your VPS is really easy and you can do it on multiple different devices. I'm going to show you on here in just a second. You can do it on your phone, on your iPad, your tablet. You can use a variation of different ways. So let's have a look to see how I do it. I use a program on the Mac called Microsoft Remote Desktop and once you have the program you can see on here I've got two VPSs which I'm currently using. One's from Amazon and one's from Fast Forex VPS. And to access, just simply click on it. And there we go. So now I'm accessed my Windows Server 2012. This is the Windows VPS. You can see I've got multi charts running and Fast Forex VPS also pre installs MetaTrader 4 for those of you who want to use MT4. And we can use this VPS or this virtual computer just as we would our regular computer. You might still be asking, so why do I need this remotely accessed computer or VPS? Well, the reason I use one is to host my trading software, MultiCharts. For MultiCharts to monitor and look for trades and then send orders automatically or send trades automatically to my broker, it has to be connected to both a data feed and it has to be connected to the broker. In some cases, the broker and the data feed are the same, but nonetheless, it has to be permanently connected. I trade multiple different strategies on multiple different markets, including Forex, which is a 24 hour a day market. So I can have trades occurring at any time during the day or night when I'm asleep. So that's why MultiCharts has to stay connected all the time. And that's why running MultiCharts or your trading software on a VPS can be very beneficial. So let's talk about the benefits of using one of these virtual computers or these cloud computers. VPS providers pride themselves on reliability or uptime. So what that means for us as traders is running our trading software on a VPS, we're much less likely to have problems with disconnections due to things like electricity outages or internet problems. Fast Forex VPS, who I've been using recently, advertise a guaranteed uptime of 99.95%. So that's number one, uptime. The second benefit is access. I've already showed you how to access the VPS on your computer, and I've already said we can actually use our phone or our tablet. So we can access the VPS when we're out and about. We don't have to be at the office. So that's useful for those of you who aren't always stuck in the office, but you do want to check up and see how your trading server's getting on, you can easily do that on your phone. Microsoft Remote Desktop, they also have an app. Benefit number three is the computer specification itself, or the virtual private server specification. The software I'm using, MultiCharts, doesn't require a particularly powerful computer, but the more powerful the computer, the quicker it will do things like optimizations, etc. And if you're running uh, a bit of an old computer yourself, then using a VPS, you can specify 
a much faster, much more up-to-date computer. And you can change that specification at any time too. The fourth benefit is power saving. Now this is probably not something you'd think about, but it is relevant, especially if you're using a desktop PC at home and you're running optimizations where the computer is a little bit more power hungry. Having that computer running 24 hours a day for even just five days a week can very quickly add up in electricity costs. And using a VPS is going to reduce those costs quite a bit. And the last benefit I want to talk about is latency or the location of the VPS. If you're using high frequency trading, meaning that you're in and out of trades or in and out of the market within the blink of an eye, then having your computer based in a location closer to your broker or closer to the exchange can be very beneficial. I'm not going to say much more about high frequency trading because I don't know a lot about it. I'm definitely not a high frequency trader. However, if that is something you want to get into, then most VPS providers have different locations all around the country and all around the world. So you can actually choose where you want your virtual computer actually located. Lastly, I'm going to suggest an alternative to a VPS, which I've used very successfully for extended periods of time. But just before I do that, I just want to talk about a VPS which I've been using recently and how you can get access to a similar one. The guys over at Fast Forex VPS were very keen for me to try out one of their VPSs and they very kindly let me use one for the past month or so for my own trading. As you've already seen, they do pre-install MT4 or MetaTrader, but that's not all they cater for because it's a normal Windows server, so you can install any software you want on it. And you've seen I've installed the latest version of MultiCharts. And I'm pleased to say once installed, it's been working very well. They've given me a VPS with two CPUs and four gigabytes of memory. Now, I'm being very transparent here, the guys over at Fast Forex VPS have given me an affiliate link. If you don't know what that is, what that means, if any of you guys want to try out a VPS through Fast Forex VPS, then I get a very small commission. You pay no extra, obviously, but it helps me out. So if you want to give a VPS a go or you're in the market to renew a VPS, then check out the link in the description and have a look at what Fast Forex VPS can offer you. I would never recommend any service or product which I haven't fully tested and tried out myself. That's why I've been testing it out for myself for the past month or so. If you don't want to use a VPS, can you use automated trading or run multi-charts without a VPS? Yes, you can, and I have done it. The way I do this is by using a second computer based at home. I use an old laptop, closed up, and I access it, very similar to the way that you would access a VPS. However, this time I use Chrome Remote Desktop. I've actually done a video all about this setup that I used successfully for quite a long time. I'll link that if that's something that interests you. The main issue with using a 24 hour a day trading computer at home is the reliability of your internet. I'm pretty lucky, my internet is pretty reliable. And by the way, I have found increased reliability by actually plugging the computer into an ethernet cable rather than just relying on the Wi-Fi. And next comes the reliability of your electric supply. Again, luckily, my power supply at home is pretty reliable. And because I'm using an old laptop, if the power flicks off for a few minutes or up to a few hours, I'm still okay. Because it's a laptop, it uses its own laptop battery. You know, all the time it's plugged in, it's fully charged. If the power goes out, then I've got a good few hours before the battery in the laptop runs out. But what doesn't have a battery is my internet router. If the power goes out, then the internet's gonna go down. To combat that, I've actually specifically built a very small battery backup, which again, lasts probably eight hours. So between the laptop battery and the battery for the router, I've probably got at least three hours worth of usage before the power needs to come back on. Anything more than that, and I'm gonna be a bit stuck. You can also buy pre-built UPS systems which do combat power outages, especially if you're using a desktop computer. That will be able to run the desktop computer depending on the size of the UPS system you're using. But I think you can see that for a small monthly cost of having a VPS, you can get much better reliability and reduce your costs of your electricity and any costs of any sort of battery backups or UPSs trying to run your trading computer at home. That's about it for this video. 
all about how I use a VPS for automated trading. We've looked at what a VPS is and does, and we've discussed all the benefits of using a VPS. And I've given you that recommendation should you want to use or try out a VPS too. And of course, we've just talked about the possible alternatives to a VPS for those of you who have got a more reliable electric and internet connection. I really hope you found this video useful. I'll leave all the links in the description down below, and I'll see you next time with a more trading strategy focused video. But until then, this is Jared Goodwin, and thank you.